So what does hedonism mean? Hedonism means fun. The paintings I thought were really about fun at Bondi, people swimming, people at their leisure. You know, there's a little story going on in my mind about all of them because they start out as blobs and then I've got to make them into people. What's your process? How do, have you found these images? So I entered a competition and the theme of the competition was Bondi life. I knew it quite well but I needed to remind myself and I live in the middle of the country so uh, I looked up Google Earth and found that they actually the US Navy allow the satellite images to get really close on people so that you can see when women are naked lying on the beach or you can see incredible details so that really helps me with the structure of the landscape and also some of the um, some of the positions of people where they're swimming I wouldn't have expected when you're swimming that you look like that like with the sometimes people just look like frogs you know, with their legs out and those hilarious positions so you print out um, a picture yep. from Google I Maps I photograph it on Google Maps first and then I um, photoshop that and heighten the colour it was quite washed out and then um, I use those as the basis of the landscape structure and some of the waves and you know, sort out the positions of where the whites are to the darks. There's a lot of sort of colour positioning in, in using that. It seems to work well because you've always worked a lot with colour, haven't you? Yeah, always with colour. So I trained in England and in Bath where I did foundation I did painting as well um, until I went up to Wimbledon for the full sculpture course but then I always made coloured sculptures Why have you made this transition from sculpture to painting? Uh, because I have arthritis in my hands and uh, they get a lot more damaged now um, and swell up and go black if I use tools. So um, I spent a year wondering what I would do. Should I retrain? Should I become something else? <laughs> and then I thought, well, no, I've just, I've just got to learn to paint. Have you found the difference? Uh, I'm fine with it now. It took quite a while. I suppose it takes a while to realise that just like with sculpting, you keep going. You know, the, the first images are not what's there and you can paint over anything that you've already done. So, and the, the, the layering's really important with what I do. A lot of the painters taught me that. Um, the layering that we see more than we think that we see with paint layers we can see through and I use loads of mediums um, so there isn't that much pigment within whatever I'm doing on each layer right so you can see through the top layers yeah you can see through so in, in that way do you think it's still kind of 3d yeah I'm making 3d <laughs> a, um, and I I use impasto too so I build it up as well so they're beginning more and more to be, I guess, like working with the plaster, you know, if you're doing a thin bar relief. And I would have coloured that anyway. Why do you choose to do the sea rather than uh, other plots of land? I think because it is see-through. So I like that visual aspect, otherwise it's too hard for me. So I started you're moving away from the Google images into just fantasy, really, just imaginings. Why did you choose to do that? Uh, I guess because I think 
there's a lot more in me to delve and and bring out with this subject. Like people keep saying, aren't you going to move off this subject? I think I think I could be on this subject for a really long time. I think there's lots there about what people do in leisure or what people want in life that can be expressed from the voyeuristic view of looking at them when they don't know they're being looked at.